okay so welcome back we go vix free your answer to your questions so changes in the number of frames during the interaction the insertion and the end of the frame number uh, changes in the number of frames during the interaction okay here it's I have no idea what you're talking about it and about this icon okay when this appears you can see information here if it shows no information here uh, it can be multiple different ways to be honest uh, one of the things why does it could happen it's you have some wrong reference or some frame skipped or whatever I mean it could be a lot of reason usually it's not big problem and sometimes yes it's annoying so if it does not really show you any information not here not in text port you need to switch to text port you can see what happened hmm. if not you can ignore you can try to delete in and restart here in timer i think it's often could happen if you have some loop so maybe in the parameters inside we have some feedback loop so one for sec one property is called another property and so this property is called back another properties time up current time time minus and result time time yes it's gonna be system time from first january 1970 it's standard it will be in seconds so that why the number is so big ah uh, current status okay it shows it is timer started here yeah yeah it's normal because it's in the seconds so and it's in the seconds from the when you start your program so here if I have one three five six seven it's in seconds by 60 so it's like 226 minus it's kind of big number to be honest so I think this is number probably the wrong or the script does not work when you start program or you started program and you go to I don't know drink tea eat and you back after two hours by following the video I can cut the step but most time I cannot figure out where we should have this step why we have on this okay I, I try to explain as much as I can every step but yeah some things could be maybe not so obvious again if you have any question you write down you ask me uh, what is this for this is parameters so you in TD yeah, you see we have uh, multiple different parameters each component and base but for the base in this kind of we can create a custom parameters if I want to do something it's make as easy to make some models and components yeah again if i go here checker so this is component this is base with some stuff inside and it's have some parameters for the stuff inside so but now i can use it just like one not again so the same here i can do you see i have my components and i have multiple tools for example hex to rgb it's the same but here i can write whatever I need color yeah and it will convert to RGB based on these hex numbers so and this is all custom parameters 
so custom parameters used to make easier user interface for us and we have more flexibility to reuse again operators and again I can put custom parameters out of network so I don't need if I want to change something I don't need to go like inside of network 10 layers to find this parameter where is it and change it yeah how to import writing code in TD and modify in the real time so first things okay we have got text here so in text you can just open the file any python file i don't know i go here okay this is not much so i can open this code and if i think so now it will load it here okay it's not gonna run now here because i do not have library since it from another stuff but okay anyway if i will change original file now it will change it here or i just can change it here again in my text port or i can change it in external editor or i just can change it directly in the node view in the active node view Uh, you import audio and ah, yeah. um depends what parameter of audio you want to extract okay i can do audio file in i go here and i have this some um, song that playing and you use here analysis yeah so you can use analysis to do some stuff you can do uh, derivative tools audio analysis very common used and it give you access to multiple data of information and information low mid high frequency value kick detection if we have any kick here i can adjust it here hmm, this is strange this one some problem interesting something wrong with this component but yeah usually we can change and okay i can try to adjust here kick threshold so now i can get kick i can get snare rhythm and other parameters so and this is i can use in my job or whatever yeah uh, if you use this way so you do some analyze and you can get channel yeah but it will give you the last sample for example or you can get access directly to sample so here it depends what the value you want to extract and here different way you can just do analyze audio analysis you can get the raw data here I can get spectrum or whatever. Uh, about test you have one more week from now till next Monday. Uh, reload video from selective for that means so I just in my TD UI I define what folder I want to use and it will automatically reload the video for this folder uh, for example uh, 
recently I did a project for sport bar the lighting and I will show you how it's work here so this is selling visualization how it works and if I go to the video I can just choose the folder and after I choose a folder it will load the video I want to play yeah this is people video or I don't know I have some atmospheric stuff so this is how it's gonna work here so something like this basically you need you select folder and you play video actually with the second year students we already did it previous semester when we did the console to control live performance right now you just need to do it a little bit more with the python Uh, this is not big difference it's just like different version of touch designer this is newer version this is all there it's just how it looks change no functionality in this part if it's bother you just update version uh, i cannot say here what's the problem ah, i think the i think i see the problem because what you see here this is what you type here base one par setting one what's the problem ah uh, okay i create base i create custom component and i create setting one let's say it's int i add here you see the parameter nay for custom parameters it's always will be uppercase and i can go and check it here also so here you can see the name of the parameter even if i will change to something different it's still uppercase always so here is a, your problem it just should be uppercase again parameter nice just first on uppercase if you have like other here setting to add you see just first on uppercase in the inbuilt parameters they always start they all lowercase the custom parameters they always start from uppercase Uh, yeah par it means it's I gonna I wanna have access to the parameter so par it's I have one component is the base one and this base one have component parameters and this is component parameters will have all these parameters that I have here yeah so that's what it means ah, this is second one me parent digits minus one okay me it's reflect to myself if i get constant me will be reflect to myself for example i can write here me name and i will change to this one you see it's changed to the same name i have so me it's related to myself this component myself and after i ask okay i want the name of this component i cannot do you if i just me it give me the path to this component i want to just name parent it means i go one level up it's going to be project one parent name project one you see here is it parent if I rename it, it's changed here. Digit, you see the constant, it have one. Digit project, it have one. Any component I create, it have some number here. That's a digit. So here, if I write digit, 
digits one okay let's split it go up and let's rename it to two project two two right and minus one I just go okay I need minus one because here for text we use the uh, from table so I wanna just get the line from table that represent to this current component because I have multiple like object yeah before comps to create the uh, like multiple buttons parent two it means I go two level up not one okay here I cannot really I think go two levels up no, I can. It's root. It's here. So this parent one, this is parent two. If I go here, this is parent one, this is parent two. Right. Why the constant one will be 74? Because it's that was decided here, text size. I go to the text one component parent this is one project one and parameter text size I get and this is 74 this this way 74 here uh, this is error you have I think you have the space here not tabulation somewhere or you have space at the end so you remember Python is sensitive to the spaces. We use tab to do something. We does not use multiple spaces. All right. So that was this error mirror. Inconsistent use of tabs and spaces in. Uh, I cannot read this name. What's different between these different lines? What these lines means? hard to see but this is different function so and they happen in different situation on time change I think this is timer callback yeah something use of cmd uh, I don't know it's related to this one it does not looks like tempe data ah no cmd it's just a name I just call it cmd it does not relate to the cmd at all this is just name I can call it whatever log text whatever whatever name it's variable name ah, on flag change on wire change on name change ah, so this is execute for the operator so this is like different things will happen when I flag change when I change where and I show it in video yeah if I change the where I disconnect or connect new component it will call this function if name change it will call this function if I change this name, where is operator connected to? Okay, this is for second year questions. Uh, let's go to the third year questions. What is the elf statement? Ah, okay, in the Python we have few way, few statements. can do if something happened do something else do something 
or we can have another what if l if else so if else it's no problem for you but you remember also in, in processing here we have else if so else if in python it's l if it will be the same as this one in Py in processing so this is what it mean do this if not this check if this right do this if none of this right i do else show we learn the le relevant statements about python bar cell before we study this mm. I give you basic what you should learn in the cor uh, in the first or second class in the first class yeah in the learn python website you already learned this everything in processing you need just check how to how to use this in the python how the syntax has changed a little bit what me parent exercise mean so uh yeah you watch this video a little bit early i already explained it me myself parent it's my parent parameter is parameters of the parent parent to here it means i go to layer up and text size is parameter name yeah in line course i think it's work in this case a little bit better for you then offline you can spend more time to read and rewatch it but again you we have a problem with the back you in the class you can directly ask me if you have some problem it can speed up process uh, this one represent i go one layer up so let's close it and we see okay let's create constant and let's create one more constant here and we have one constant here I will call it I will rename it constant in project and here I will be constant in base and here I see for example what I can do I can get like this op uh, let's do constant 1 constant 2 and constant 2 because I wanna ha ha they have the same name but different project in project in base so I can go constant to zero name so in base right but if I do like this it's changing project this means basically it's the same like parent I go one layer up I go outside of this So that's what it means. Uh, the same you do here. Okay, now I'm in folder say user Sakaris Vasiri. If I do this one, I go one layer up. Say users. Okay, now I need C DC. Uh, okay, it's not Linux, so I can use this one. Again, I go. inside of the folder or I go out so this is the same I mean go one layer up uh, usually digits does not have zero if you not change it by yourself it can be zero but I need to rename it by default type designer will not create be zero and digits it's not the digits it's number from zero it digit is the number of the component it can be from zero to you no know, it can be 
nein, Sound, nein, 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 nein. Alright. So, it's not just from zero to nine. It's any number. It digits is just number in the name. Uh, input cell when we use with some eval for example or other stuff input cell is mean okay it gets the value of input cell and cell is just no no it's different different use you can go here and see what the difference there find cell so cell in general it's class input cell is just cell that gonna go for the input So me input cell is mean okay I get me and I get input cell that go here. If I go cell it's some um, objects in I don't know we need to see what this object ah this is will be this cell I think yeah me cell ah. I did not use cell really much so we can check a bit more later I will check Yeah, you see, you cannot be into the port, so change change the port name. Probably the port name you use, it's already used by some another program you have on your computer. And as you remember, we did the same in processing key before OSC. If something already listed in this port, you cannot connect to it. So you just change port name to one that it's not busy. Can or cannot. Here's a problem without clicking the button. Does the send events every cook? Affected it cannot be changed. Mm. Ah. I think this is just because it's cook every frame so I think this is why it's by default OSC out I know I have it active cook every frame hmm. it's a bit different I don't know. Maybe version. But this one basically the difference if I get this one here. Yeah. I constant and I send so it will send it every frame. If like this 
Ah, St. Evans. You remember when you have the OSC in? Mm. 10,000. 10,000. Local address. Network from 10,000, OIC out, OIC in, port 10,000, list in, OIC address scope all. Ah. Local host, yeah, sent to myself. So now if I clean it, it does not send it always. It will send just when the value change. If I write send event every cook, so it's just like every frame, because it will cook every frame, it will send. Uh, yeah, usually it's not necessary because, okay, evaluate and the change why I need to send the signal again. This is could work good just for if you need syn like really synchronizing time to process. <coughs> What's the middle operation? OIC in, select one, convert, transpose, select two, convert. Uh, because here we get line, after we convert line to the ta another table, and we split name from the value of received signal. <coughs> yeah, it's a little bit more complex, but it's time. The same, I already explained it. Yeah, that tends to export will scrolling because if you have something printing or make an event, so it will do its every frame and export, that's why it will keep scrolling. Okay, this I explained already. Time, time, yeah, I already explained also. It's uh, system time in seconds. Ah, no, here uh, it's, it's the same because when timer stopped, next timer start. So it just, it updates this and after it updates this one directly at the same frame. So this is. Yeah, a bit not much sense, but because stopped and st after we stop, we just start again. So it's refreshed just faster than we can see. Yeah, again, because after it's done, it started again directly. So it's not done here. After we're done, we just start again. So it's it's done and switch to start. It's just too fast. Same pain, same day again. It's variable, anything the same in processing. The same the data, it's a variable. I, the variable, same D, same P, I. It's all the same stuff, just variable name. It can be whatever you want. Ah name did not change to this. When I change to 12, it will just print that name changed. It's not rule here. Mm, because ev everything quote after last cell, it will evaluate the same as previous one. Uh, we have this in the last class. I do not have file now, but okay. Okay, let's create just add colon, add row, add row one. Two, three, one, two, three. Add colon. Uh, 
colon I draw I draw me input cell one so now they all input cell me input cell multiply by two and okay this is empty it will be the same but if I delete this this one will be the same as this one and this one will be the same as this one so you see this one and this one affect just this this one will affect just this one and for example if I will add column here it's the same yeah so this will be affected by the last one uh, what's the difference mid time frame it's time of the node okay if I delete it I create new one and I go here and I write me time frame it's so this is this is time frame for this node because you also it's not also have sample rate 60 originally if I will change it here no I did not change it's the same me time second it's local time in second it started from the moment when I ah, it's the same but in the seconds so it we have in frames this is the same but in the seconds absolute time frame it's f how many frames from when I start program in absolute time seconds the same it's the time from where I start the program from the moment I can see all the English letters uh, yeah I will check this how to run screened by the event in parent okay I can create custom component in the custom component I can have trigger uh, no delete it and I can make it pulse for example so it will create event yeah pulse now I go inside and I can use the for example parameter execute and operator gonna be this base and parameter gonna be trigger edit components on value change print one let's see parameter pulse nothing happened I think this is not really this is should be converted to the string no <coughs> okay let's do this way mm, yes parent uh, on pulse let's do two to see ah yeah so this is on pulse happened and if you want run script on the parent seven for example here I can create the 
text file print run it and here I can write operator text one right run so now when I pulse it it will run the script job to make flashing video but how to use Python to make the video flicker every second in automatic mode <coughs> one of the way for example I can you not that execute if you, you like need to use Python execute frame start and component I will close this one and on frame start what I wanna do me time frame every second seconds divide by one let's print it and see what's happened here so you see it's from zero to one so if this one divide by one equals zero so it means new second start I can write op level one parameter let's do invert equals one so now it's invert and after I can write something like this run and in run I can it will be the same parameter I need to back to zero that I can tell delay frames let's say two frame so for two frame it will be inverted so what I do I check this is divide it's give me the number what's left after division so for example if I do 10 divided by 10 it's gonna be zero but if 11 divided by 10 modulates it will be 1 so it will be divided by 10 but it will give me what the rest here here nothing rest here 1 15 modular 10 equals 5 so here is the same if I divide something by 1 it will equal 0 if I does not have anything after it if I have anything after it, it's not zero. So now I can check, okay, this is will happen every second. I invert, but because I want to invert it back, I can tell, I can ru run the same line, but get it back, but I tell, okay, after this happens, after two frames, I want to run this one inside. okay you better than roll out video because okay you can learn python on mock or whatever but it's not really much touch designer related python it if you want to learn python more for sure i will be happy if you get some additional classes but yeah okay that's all for today uh, see you next week